Malaysia has allowed Australia's Linus Rare Earths to import raw materials that contain natural radioactive material until March of 2026. Now, the extension of the licence will allow the firm's cracking and leaching activities to continue subject to conditions. In recent years, calls for Linus operations to close have been raised amid concerns about radiation levels. The company was reportedly facing a possible shutdown of its operations in Malaysia after the government imposed a deadline for it to stop import and process of lanthanide concentrate from January next year. Melissa Go reports. It was described as a win-win situation by Malaysia Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation, Chang Li Kang. Linus, the Australia-based mining giant, he said has given its commitment to significantly reduce radioactive content from its waste through thorium extraction. I think this is a win-win situation because uh, our initial intention was to uh, ensure there is no continuation of uh, uh, radiative waste accumulation. Now with this technology, uh, on one hand, liners can continue to operate in Malaysia. On the other hand, we won't see any accumulation of uh, radiative waste anymore in the future uh, because uh, after the thorium extraction, uh, whatever waste we have will be scheduled waste uh, and uh, it is uh, below one baccalaureate per gram. Becquerel is the unit used to measure radioactivity. Now, waste below one becquerel gram is not subjected to the country's Atomic Energy Licensing Act. Now, the new condition allows liners to import lanthanide and continue its cracking and leaching operation in the Gubbing plant, provided it begins extracting thorium from its waste before the license expires in March 2026. Now, under the license issued in 2014, liners must channel 1% of its revenue for research and development and that condition remains the minister said as well as its commitment on the permanent disposal facilities now, meanwhile the 12-year tax break for liners ends next year from next year they have to pay tax uh, from next year on yeah but it's also a waste if uh, they have operated like 12 years in Malaysia then suddenly they shut and go to other country we, we try not to send wrong message uh. Melissa Go, CNA Kuala Lumpur